New year, new decade, new start. But the work continues at Fergal and Brian's yard, bright and early as usual. Both horses and riders emerge while the moon still hung high in the sky. Despite the early start, the team remains in high spirits. Very good today, you know, like, the, you quite like it, like a couple of days ago it was raining, it's cold and, yeah, it's, it, like, for me it's quite easy because I stay on the yard all day, but for these girls and the boys riding out it's quite horrible, like. Yeah, just, Ferg's pretty good to us all, so we, I'd say we have it quite easy compared to a lot of places anyway, so, yeah, keeps everyone happy. This facility for trainer Fergal O'Brien doesn't just represent better training opportunities, but it represents a fresh start after a tough decade on a personal level. A lot happened, you know, I started training in 2011 and it, it was, yeah, it was, uh, we've had our ups and downs, you know, um, business-wise and personally, you know, I've, you know, I've got divorced and um, things like that. My kids are very much part of all of this, um, why we do it. And, um, you know, my daughter rides out, like I said, Petty Power is the first one she rode. So it's, it's um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a hard time, but I honestly feel coming here, Having a 20 year lease, um, this has just given us a whole new uh, lease of life. So while it may be a new year, there's still a lot of work to do for Fergal O'Brien in 2020. Lewis Holman, Park Life Sport.